What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can reinforce your new motor mounts and make them last very long time. Way longer than how they come from the factory. So now I know for a fact that aftermarket manufacturers, um, they looking to save money anywhere possible. I'm pretty sure they save on the rubber on all motor mounts. Now this motor mount is for a Honda Civic. It's a transmission, it's a manual transmission mount. Now the original one was over $100 from Honda, I would have loved to use that, but this one was about $17 from Anchor, this is the brand for it. And what I do after I buy the motor mounts or the transmission mounts, I reinforce them and I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so the engine and the transmission are meant to rock back and forth just a little bit to allow for movement when you're taking off or you're going into reverse or shifting gears. but uh, when we when we fill this with polyurethane, it's going to reinforce this thin rubber here that they tried to save money on and uh, still allow for a little bit of movement because the polyurethane is, is pliable. So it's you can squeeze it a little bit and allow for a little bit of movement, but not limit the, the, uh, the, 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 the transmission or the engine to be completely rigid. So if we can prevent these this rubber from cracking by reinforcing all around it with polyurethane, that will be great. So we can still allow for that movement, uh, prevent the rubber from cracking. So with that being said, let me grab the polyurethane and show you how I'm going to uh, put a piece of cardboard underneath this and just fill it all the way to the top. Okay, so before I start here, what I have here is 3M polyurethane adhesive sealant. This thing is multi-purpose. It has all kinds of stuff. And I got this on Amazon. I will link it in the description below. Alright, so that is it. This is the bottom side and this is the top side. It is completely filled. Okay, so I took it outside after filling it. I'm just going to clean up the edges here. So, okay, I'm going to leave it here outside to dry. I'm going to clean up the, all the surfaces. Just to make it look nice, you know. You ain't got to do this, but... Okay, so that's it. I'm gonna leave it here, let it dry. It takes about 24 hours. It is 100% filled and it looks okay. After that, I'm gonna go install it in my vehicle. Okay, so it has cured for about a week. Um, it only needs a, a day, but uh, I just uh, got around to it again. So this is it. It is, uh, it's uh, pretty pliable still, but of course does not have as much movement as it used to but it's really filled in really well. Okay, I just pulled out the transmission mount and this is the old one and this is the new one. The old one has some cracking in some places. It shows better when you twist it. This one's gonna last way longer and it's gonna be stiffer and hopefully it drives better. So this is new, this is old. Let me install this and I will let you guys know honestly how I think of the drivability of the vehicle after I install this with such stiffness in it. So let's work on installing this. Okay, so the new motor mount is fully installed. As you can see, that's it right there. And now I'm just gonna finish putting the car together and I'm gonna take it for a test drive. Okay, so I am driving the car right now and it feel quite normal, honestly. Uh, I don't feel much of a difference. Uh, I know the previous motor mount was uh, had cracks in it. It was a bit too soft, but it wasn't all the way gone. And uh, this actually does not feel too bad at all. I know it's gonna last a very long time. And I know uh, 
it's very well enforced and it's not too bad driving it doesn't feel too stiff or anything so with that being said i hope this video is helpful to you if it is please give it a big thumbs up please subscribe down there and i'll catch you on the next one peace